And then, so when I came back, they were all talking about like what they're gonna do, what they're gonna do. And they're like, what are you gonna do? And I was like, I'm gonna do a celebration of life. And I yeah. think that stemmed from the second information that I gave the producers is that I'm HIV positive, and mm-hmm. but I didn't want it to be on TV or talked about. And um, because my parents didn't know at the time. Right. And I honestly didn't want to talk about it until, you know, I was le- like ever actually until this crazy episode happened and then I won and then it became a spokesperson for Mac Diva Glam and how, and, and how that hit so close to home for me. Yeah. And then, so basically at the end, you'll see that, um, the emotions just kind of took over me yeah. and I just kind of, it just naturally came out. So it became like my coming out story. Yeah. And I did it purely because I was super, super, super overwhelmed with the fact that I had just won something so incredibly close to me and how, and how that was so important to me. So I wanted to share, share with the judges, um, why I was so super emotional about it. And, um, and it just came out. I think it's the best moment of season one for sure. Thank you. It's better than the, the crown. It's, um, it's a, it's honestly a watershed moment for all of reality TV and, um, it still should be looked in it. Uh, I don't know if it should be included on a shocking list of reality TV moments, but it's, you know, because shocking has like a way of just thinking like, oh my God, (gasps) without, without the actual gravitas of it being worthy of it. But like it was, you know, like I wouldn't put my elimination in the category of that kind of thing because that is, it's meaningful, you know, it's not fake. There's something behind it. 